So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Paris Saint-Germain against Stade René. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. And it's Niang. Out to the left it goes. Looks like a good ball through. Draxler. Messi. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement? Forget it. Well played, he saw that coming. Pereira tries the route one option. Marco Verratti. Sergio Ramos, Marco Verratti, gets his foot in there, Niang brings the ball forward, Marquinhos cuts it out, now the pass, Messi, Gomis, and it's Niang, It's a loose ball. Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? Niang unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Renier tries to switch the play. Niang passes it through. Oh, that's neat. That intervention was very necessary. The whistle for half time. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score nil nil. Paris Saint Germain can be very glad that half time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts. No glory. Where to from here? Pereira did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Danilo Pereira. Still nothing to reflect upon in terms of goals here. It is nil-nil. Gomis. It's Mbappe, 
Stade René have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Panu. Draxler. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Pereira, the ball through. Back of the net! Well, what a signal that is for the opposition. There really isn't much time to get a goal back now. Talking about drama. Pereira did so well with that interception, but what followed was a pretty lethal counter-attack that took seconds to convert. That's as sharp as it gets, believe me. Paris Saint-Germain themselves into the lead. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. Did Silva with a long pass out wide. Marco Verratti. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Actually not getting too tight which is interesting no it's probably cautionary uh, don't dive in try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind and that's been repelled Stade René may think they're going about this in the right way but not if a series of passes is leading to no end product they have to add the incision but Silva Pumps it upfield. Marco Verratti. Time added on will be two minutes. Paris Saint-Germain just have to run down the clock. Martin gets good distance on it. And there goes the final whistle.